Hello Servus and we are back with another video the highway where trucks work like electric trains transportation the infrastructure surrounding transportation is interesting right because going back to probably over 100 years now you know we've had the technolo technology available we've been te technologically advanced enough to have much more efficient modes of transportation, especially for goods and services. Uh, but instead, our obsession and hyper-reliance, especially in North America, on not just the roadways, then the road infrastructure, but infrastructure that's designed for vehicles, which is why, in especially in North America, uh, I'm sure it's different in Europe, but we have so much space allotted for parking just parking vehicles parking lots everywhere is parking lots parking lots parking lots probably more square mileage of parking lots than you know community parks and things like that and community uh communal recreational spaces so this should be an interesting video the highway where trucks work like electric trains i'm interested to see how that works i know like in vancouver we do have the transit bus system and there is a the network of overhead lines which of course are connected to the buses uh so they are electric buses and they run on that network so it's it's one thing we got uh the transportation and public transportation in vancouver is actually quite good um but our highway systems are still incredibly inefficient and in the way that we get goods around but there is a question of practicality in all aspects of this so let's just get into the video and we'll see how it goes as petrol and diesel get phased out and batteries become better and cheaper electric that's the key batteries getting better and cheaper but you know the oil industry killed the electric vehicle right well i don't know if that's completely true but there's definitely vested interests in keeping and propping up that in, in industry a long time ago and to this day trucks are slowly starting to become a thing but the trouble is you need a massive battery in each truck plus the infrastructure yeah. to charge them all it'd be great if you could somehow charge up electric trucks while they're on the move well the world already has a proven tested solution for sending power to massive fast-moving vehicles electric trains have pulled power from overhead wires for more than a century so why not put those wires over the first lane electric of the highway trolleys. and let trucks connect to it while they're on the move so it's been They're running for 21 it? months now and will be at least for the next year. A full-scale scenario for Germany. So this e-highway Lübeck, is it a trial? It's just a trial phase for this? Would be to equip one-third of the German highway network and that could reduce two-thirds of the greenhouse gas emissions by heavy trucks. But for sure there are pros and cons in the real world. And we want to be sure before we are going into the future with such a system. Yeah, there were a lot of safety concerns in the beginning, so we had to discuss everything with fire brigade and police and so on. We have the, the voltage level of a tram and the, the electromagnetic fields are lower than on a tram. So that isn't an issue. Overtaking is absolutely no problem. You just set the indicator or leave the lane and the pantograph will automatically drop down immediately and then you're free to go. So in that part, a battery or the combustion engine will take over and you will have the full power without interruption. One of the things that's really obvious sitting here is that the technology... So it can connect and disconnect while driving. And one of the issues with electric vehicles has always been like horsepower, not horsepower, but torque, having enough torque to haul such significant amounts of weight with electric vehicles, right? You can always have electric vehicles to move people from point A to point B, but if they're hauling a trailer filled with goods, it's, yeah, it's not, the technology I think needs to improve still. Works, like we're running off grid power now and it's really, really quiet in here. There are two main uses for big trucks like this. One is last mile delivery, picking up lots of items from warehouses and taking them out to individual shops. Most of that is going to be away from the trunk road network, so e-highway wouldn't work for that. But yeah, that's what I was just thinking. So this seems like a no-brainer for the highway networks, but you're still going to need combustion trucks. 
to do the final delivery phase. Those trucks tend to take shorter journeys anyway and they're sitting idle at night, so those could charge at the depot. The other use for big trucks is taking containers from ports to warehouses or from one depot to another. Right. Almost all of that traffic goes along big trunk roads like this and that could all be converted to run straight from the grid with batteries taking a couple of miles to each end. Roll that out and suddenly you're replacing a lot of diesel. What you're doing is bringing the electrons to the vehicle yeah. in a cable rather than trying to carry them in a box in a battery. It's the most efficient solution, the most efficient use of energy. We think that it's possible for the system to pay for itself. It's possible to set an electricity price sufficiently cheap for the truck operator that the lower costs will pay for the additional costs of the lorry in about a year and a half, something like that. And we think that it's possible to use some of the money that comes back from electricity sales to pay the infrastructure provider in a way which will make that an investment that's fundable by private finance. And we think there is enough money left on top of that to pay a tax to the government to replace fuel tax. Where you've got real difficulties mm -hmm. is some uh -huh. of these journeys into- So how did that detach? That's pretty cool. Fuel tax. Where you've got real difficulties is some of these journeys into really remote parts of the huh. country. And there's a strong case for saying, look, in some of those journeys, let's have a hybrid vehicle. But the majority of the system works very well on very efficient electricity and you can do it quickly. So I think that's, a, that's an attractive thing to do if you can. We've had more than a century to develop delivery infrastructure that's based around combusting fossil fuels. And that's going to end in the next couple of decades. Britain is planning to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel trucks by 2040, which sounds like the far future, but it's actually only 18 years away. The rest of Europe won't be far behind. And building. Yeah, here in Canada, I don't know. It's going to be. I think it's going to be a. You know, it's going to be a an interesting phase, an interesting transition, a difficult transition, because there's such a significant part of the population that is very, they're very reactive and um, they're not going to like giving up their, um, they're not going to like giving up their combustion engines. Um, if they can get the cost down on these electric vehicles, I think it's obviously a no brainer. If they can get, everybody's for more efficiency and better climate efficiency etc so hopefully everything will go good it'll be interesting to watch the transition happening in europe canada and most western countries as well um, i think those wires above enough roads could take up most of that time if that's the solution that's chosen so right now we know the basic technology does work that's what's been tested here but a lot of things that technically work can't be built economically. If we want yeah. to keep to that date, then the UK has somewhere around three to five years to figure out if this is just a gimmick or whether it's worth investing the billions that it'll take to roll this out. Personally, I try not to give predictions about the future, but I wouldn't be too surprised if those wires become part of everyday life on the road in the next couple of decades. Cool. Interesting. Uh, a lot to think about when it comes to transportation and trying to make things more efficient with climate change happening and just being more efficient overall because yeah, I'd be interested to see what all of your thoughts are on it. Let me know in the comments and we will see you on the next video. Ade. Ciao.